Hey there guys, this is going to be a, um, another Steam game recommendations for the summer sale currently going on. It's going to be more of a kind of a personal list, I'm more into the Kawaii, um RPG anime type of games. I will be going over all the ones that I personally like and 90% of own. So stick with me here and check them out. This is um, a Reseteer, I'm probably mispronouncing that. It's it's a little bit of a hybrid between uh, games. No, I don't know actually a single other game like this. How it works is basically you go and you sell stuff to adventurers, but at the same time you take adventurers out and you collect up unique items to bring back to your store to sell. You try to make a profit off of it and pay off a debt. It's a pretty straightforward game. You set up the shop. This is an idea of the shop. You can expand it over time, get more and more people, different theme days, all that kind of stuff. It's worth checking out, and right now it's only on sale for five bucks. That's not too bad. They have a discount as well for a little bit deeper of a discount for some of their other games as well. Um, I personally like Reseteer. The other ones are all right, though. I'm not going to be going over them in this particular video. Um, now, this is a, another personal favorite of mine. 100% um, Orange Juice is kind of a unique take on a board game. It's 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 like Mario Party without the mini games. Um, the RNG is kind of annoying, but you get used to it and you have fun with it. Um, a lot of mix of characters, each one with a unique personality. There's a campaign mode and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, they're just kind of going around the board here roll dice, go, 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 and that's pretty much how it is. Um, Storyline's quite interesting. They recently came out with 200% orange juice. Um, they have a lot of different DLC as well that's on sale if you do end up liking the game. And uh, they have a whole bunch of games on Steam, but I personally like 100% orange juice. They recently came out with 200% orange juice, but that's not quite as good as this. It's still pretty fun, though. Let's go on to the next one here. Um, Half Minute Hero is, you guys might have heard of it by now, it's been out for a while, but it's quite different than your usual RPG. Generally you have 30 seconds to save the world. If you don't, um, basically you get a game over. Now it's, it's, it sounds like it's quick paced, but overall it's just kind of a gradual thing you play and as you can see, each one has different counters. There's some different modes, but there's only really like one main mode. The rest of them are rather short. It's still a pretty fun game. They have it for going for two and a half bucks right now. As you can see, it's 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 interesting to say the least. I I quite enjoyed it. Um, I didn't get too far into it. I did end up beating the game, but I mean there isn't much replayability beyond that because you kind of replay it a whole bunch throughout the game just to survive ton of a ton of positive reviews some negatives which is kind of silly because it's a unique game in itself let's go a little bit further here now this is basically the sequel to half minute hero it's rather the same thing but you got a few different modes uh, other than that you level up you try to save the world and that's pretty much it there is some other unique features added to it. As you can see, you can kind of make your own maps. That's definitely different and an added benefit. Once again, this is rather cheap as well, only two and a half bucks. Um, this one, most people probably don't even know about, but right now it's only 87 cents. Um, generally it's like a roguelike the darkness comes from the left there gradually pushing you to the brink of losing now as you can see uh, the closer you get to the darkness there the you can potentially lose their storyline behind this and the game as you gradually go to the right the idea is to just keep staying to the right uh, as you die you actually can save specific items to carry into your next playthrough you start in like a castle, you can set up different abilities, different classes, a whole bunch of things, even perks, uh, if need be. In one way, heroics plus, um, they actually added something a little bit different to it. 
in their DLC where you can actually make, expand your castle and you can actually add perks that kind of negate effects to make the game more challenging. It's still a pretty big challenge and for 87 cents you really can't go wrong. Now this is one I've been waiting for. Unfortunately it did not go to a 75% off sale but I bought it anyways recently. Now this is um, what um, I'd hope to see more often for uh, basically an RPG Maker equivalent title that it actually offers a unique aspect of gaming. Now you're not going to see uh, uh, an RPG like this very often through some like RPG Maker, but I'd really hope that developers strive more towards this kind of gameplay. It's very dynamic, very unique. I I quite enjoyed it. I have not beat it yet, but I have played a little bit of it, and it does. I would I would say it's it's pretty interactive, pretty fun. The only problem with it is the length, and I just don't have as much time as I used to. But it's still a pretty interesting game to get into. Going on to the next one here, um, I don't know how familiar you guys are with Agarest, but um, it's like a generational RPG, JRPG. It's kind of similar to the one I just showed you, but actually, I personally say it's better. Uh, more in-depth storyline, and you can kind of inherit traits and abilities as uh, you go through the different generations of the individuals. It's a very, very, very long game. I tried to get into it, but I didn't have as much time. When I do, I plan on doing some pretty extensive reviews and gameplay on this particular game. Oh, wrong way. There we go. And this guy is a pretty old uh, PlayStation 1 classic. Uh, kind of similar to Final Fantasy Tactics, but kind of like a bit over the top. If you're familiar with the newer Disgaea games on PS3 and soon PS4, this is going to be the kind of games that you want to support because the more you support this game, although it's not on a big sale, the more likely they are to put their other titles, Disgaea 2, Disgaea 3, which are uh, pretty much as fun as Disgaea, but in a much more in-depth way. Obviously, with uh, PS1 limitations, this is actually a pretty good game, I would say. And I've been saying PS1, it's actually PS2, sorry about that. But uh, in general, it's fun to consider. This, this pretty much sums up um, all the games that I went over. A whole lot of games, a whole lot of fun. Um, out of the all the titles I mentioned here, I go with Reseteer and One Way Heroics. They are probably the most unique out of all of the games here. Of course, Trails in the Sky is a definite must-pick up for the price if you have the spare money and you're really into JRPGs. Um, thanks for listening in, and feel free to like this video, subscribe, and share it with others if you want others to find out about this list and the uh, sales that are currently going on. Um, thank you for stopping by and have a nice day.